Hello everyone, uh, I'm Sukhdeep Kaur from Team Violet. Today we are going to design an SQL database for an online bookstore. So first of all, what we have to know that, and that uh, every programmer should need to know that what clients demand to him, uh, demands to him. In our case, the client has six requirements, which Karan explained to you. Hi, I am Karan and I am going to tell you about the requirements of our project. So here are the six requirements of our project. Uh, the first requirement of our project is that the system shall provide reporting functionality about products available in the store. That is uh, books available in our store. Then the second requirement is the system shall provide a way to help the customers to find the books that they want. And they can search by book name or type or writer's name. And then requirement third is the system shall provide a wish list. If, if they are not satisfied after doing the research, they can create a request for a book we don't have. And if there are more than 10 requests, our account team will email the writer and send the books to the bookstore. At the bottom of the search, we will ask the customer if they want another book or they have any complaint. Like they can comment about their experience. And then requirement 4 is that the system shall provide to the customer a shipping number to track the book they, they have ordered so that they can know that when book will reach their home or the address provided by them. And then requirement five is that the system shall provide a calculation to see how much money the store make per week. And the last requirement is that the system shall provide the calculation that how much money the book store spends on workers' salaries with that calculate the profit for the week. Now we need to understand that what, uh, what is use case. A use case uh, is a method to identify, clarify, and to organize our system requirements. Um, so uh, what is an actor in the system? An actor is something external to the system that plays a, an important role to use our system. In our case, we have a customer as an actor who use our system uh, or simply that initialize our system. Uh, customer goal, what is goal? Every, system, uh, every, every actor in the system has a goal and the system should provide a way to the actor to achieve his goal. Uh, in our case, the customer's uh, goal is to receive his book. And, and now we come to scenario. Scenario is simply the sequence of steps we follow to achieve our goal. Uh, the scenario of the upper, uh, of in this uh, project is the bookstore will receive books from the writers so the database administrator should insert the book information in the database. After that, if the customer wants to buy a book, he can find it by searching for the writer's name, by the book's name, or also by book type. If the customer is not satisfied after doing his search, he can create a request for a book and that we don't have. In the end of the each week, the system will calculate the profit the bookstore made. Hi guys, I'm Tiago and I'm gonna show you uh, what's the design of our database. So basically we have eight tables and almost all of them is related in at least somehow. Uh, for example, we have writer's table which relates to books table using a foreign key. So we have writer ID which is writer's primary key and it's in here in, inside of books table so it, it relates these two tables and as you can see uh, workers table is not relating to any table but that means that we don't need to but we can uh, also pick up some data from them uh, using some select uh, clauses statements and we also can sum the salary if we want which is our one of our requirements um, so basically that that is it and we also have orders as you can see which has a lot of foreign keys uh, but it's called this is a relator table uh, it relates data from almost all the tables and it shows to the customer uh, his his tracking number, for example, which is uh, searched by the order ID. So that's it for the design. Hi guys, I'm Tiago. Uh, 
guys, I'm Joe. So today I'm going to explain you guys the SQL database statement. After Tiago taught us about the diagram, we can use the diagram to create those table. For example, the writer's table, we have some value um we have some value insights like writer's ID and writer's name. There's a point that is important is we have to have a primary key when we uh, create the table. So those statements have to be exactly the same as the diagram did. And the last thing we need to do is just insert the value of it. So here we have some keywords, create table, create database, and insert value. After insert all the values from the diagram to the SQL statement, we can finally select them, which is showing your work. For example, select those things from the table. We can see that's your final work. And thanks guys for watching. For the last part, I'm going to explain how the traceability matrix works. Uh, the traceability matrix is basically a checklist uh, that you need to do every time you finish your work. So you have the requirements that your client want you to do, uh, which in our cases we have six. Uh, and also you need to create the test case which are SQL statements, as you can see. Um, the test cases, you also need to create a definition for that because you need to, to know that the, the people uh, who are using your program may not know how to, to code. So you, you need to make sure that it, it's understandable for any person. So in this case, uh, the book staff will use the following SQL statement to find out the writer name, write book name, type, stock, and price. So basically, he just needs to copy and paste this uh, statement and in, in a SQL query, and he will, he will see uh, the output he wants. Uh, so we have test case two, three, and until test case eight. And the traceability matrix table, which is the last thing you should do, is basically checking if you have reached all the requirements. And that's good for you as a programmer because you can show your uh, boss, the people who hired you, that you have reached all the requirements and if it, they are not satisfied with your work uh, you can say that you have done everything that they asked you to do so that's it for today i hope you guys understood